please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please sit for the moment of silence. WTF1 recently made news packages for the Hook Jr. Check out our work. The ladies' rugby golf team is in full swing and hoping to have a great season. Here's Coach Thompson with more information. Our season's going well so far. We have four girls on the team and we played a few matches already. Uh, we've been competitive with everybody we played with and I've been very proud of the new girls for learning and picking the, the sport so quickly. The Lady Raiders golf team has had two matches so far. They have been very successful and they strive to get better. Here's the season so leave future goals for the golf team. For myself individually, I would like to get my scores a little lower. And as a team, I hope um, we all come together and work together to get better. Many people don't even know about the latest way to golf team or when they have matches. They get no publicity and are underrated. I went to some fellow students to ask why they think this is. Because people are used to sports that are more energetic and more loud. And That's all the information we have for the ladies with the golf team. I hope they have a hole in one season. They've already had a total of four games. The season isn't going as great as they expected, but they're trying to stay positive. The Lady Raiders soccer coach is Coach Mack. He has been coaching the team for about three years now. Here he is to give more insight on his star players. Well, I think everybody on the team is a star player, but when it comes to um, just raw talent and skills, you're probably talking about Kim Davis, who's an incoming freshman. Emmett Brown is one of our captains, our leaders. The team started conditioning late October. Coach Max selected Emmett Brown and Kaylee Spear as captains of the team. I feel like we should work together more as a team, but we still have some things to work on and to build on, so once we get that situated, A lot of traffic happens here in Shaw and students in here try to make it here to school on time. School starts at 8, 10 a.m. and most students end up being late to school because of the traffic. Here's what students have to say about the traffic in the morning. Yes, I have been late to school because of traffic in the morning. And I mean, I just feel like if y'all gonna keep on giving me toys, y'all might as well just do something about the traffic out there because I mean, I'm not finna drive no faster. I want to drive faster, but then when I crash my car, it's just gonna be a problem. Here's what a teacher had to say about the traffic. Boy, the traffic in the morning. Uh, sometimes it takes 15 to 20 minutes once I get off the uh, off ramp on 80 uh, to get uh, here and get signed in. So you know, you kind of kind of get your morning off to a bad start. You're just sitting there in traffic, waiting and waiting and waiting. So uh, kind of puts you in a bad frame of mind when you get here in the morning and then you have to go in the classroom. So. Now you know how traffic is here at Shaw in the morning. Hopefully there are changes made in the future. Hey, ever wonder what a janitor does besides clean? The main role of a janitor is to clean and to keep the restrooms up to par and also the cafeteria. The main role of the custodian was to also attend the school and make sure everything is where it should be. You can also make sure the doors are locked and secure so no one could break them. First part of a um, custodial job is stripping and wax the floor. Um, basically, you're taking up dirty wax off the floors that's been walked through over the years, and you will clean the floor real well, and then you put wax down over it. The role of a 
custodian is vital to the school. We all want to go to a clean school. Nobody wants to go to a dirty school. Now we all know what custodian really does. Long way Marshall signing off with the hook. Hi Raiders, I'm here at Chick-fil-A on Keelan Lake Drive where students like you can come to purchase food to raise funds for your school. Those who participate in Chick-fil-A Spirit Night can bring their receipts to their advisors where it can be entered into a school-wide drawing for a prize. Now let's hear from sophomore Jalen Jackson about his Chick-fil-A Spirit Night experience. I participated in Shaw Spirit Night because I'm now lost to raise my money for my school. To participate in Spirit Night, a student must order an item off the menu and simply tell the cashier that they are here for Shaw High School Chick-fil-A Spirit Night. As a student of Shaw High School and employee Chick-fil-A, I feel that Shaw Spirit Night is good because you can interact with your friends and just have fun at work. When you give them their receipt, they can go to give it to their teachers and they can win prizes and stuff. Shaw High School receives 10% of the total sums raised on Chick-fil-A Spirit Night. Chick-fil-A Spirit Night takes place every first week of each month. The next Spirit Night will be held April 5th from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you'd like to help raise more funds for your school, eat more chicken here at Chick-fil-A on Spirit Night. Thanks for watching The Hook Junior. Have a great day.